Let's get right to it. Now, I'm not trying to dissuade you from any role. I simply want you to go into everything you do with your eyes wide open. Becoming a top-tier machine learning engineer, a data engineer, AWS architect, full-stack programmer, whatever. It's a long journey. You need to understand that the skills and experience aren't attained overnight. Let's assume you want to be a data engineer or a machine learning engineer. Here are three ways to get there from scratch. Now, the word scratch here simply means you aren't in an IT role already. The first approach you could take is to become a data analyst. This is an entry-level role you could attain in under a year with a few certifications. I have an entire curriculum laid out on LogicBot. Firstly, you learn SQL. You'll need to know the basics of SQL and the basics of one SQL vendor. Next, you'll need to learn a tool used by data analyst. The three core tools in the real world are Power BI, Looker, and Tableau. I recommend Power BI because I work with Microsoft in the Microsoft space, and because there's a well-known certification that recruiters look for when hiring data analysts. My approach is simple. You learn SQL, you learn Power BI, and then you take the Power BI certification. Once you've done that, you're ready to apply to entry-level roles. Another great approach many look down upon is the help desk role. What's a help desk person do? It's the company's first line of troubleshooting technical issues. When a computer user or employee is having problems with hardware or software, or a network for that matter, they call a help desk specialist to assist. A help desk technician might maintain, install, or troubleshoot hardware or software, resolve networking issues, or help resolve other problems other company employees have. The title is also going to vary from company to company. Help desk technicians can also be called help desk analysts, desktop support technicians, service desk technicians, and computer support technicians. These are just a few of the titles. The positions collectively are often referred to as help desk positions. I started off doing something somewhere called desktop support, and it was the greatest thing that could have happened to me. I learned how IT shops worked, and because I was helping out executives with their basic computer issues, when it came time to move up, these executives helped me do just that. The help desk position is the most entry-level role, and you'll learn a lot. Not only that, you'll have your hands on all the various technologies. You might even change your mind on what career path you want to pursue after you see all the options in an IT shop. The third entry-level role I'd recommend is the IT technician. Now, this is very similar to a help desk role. Like a help desk role, IT technicians work to support technical issues within an organization's computer systems. While help desk technicians may spend more time resolving user issues, IT technicians are likely to spend more time doing actual technical work to resolve the issue. As an IT technician, you should be able to troubleshoot, know how to use several operating systems, and understand the basics of IT networks. IT technicians can also be called IT associates, IT analysts, or IT specialists. Some companies may have IT technicians that do help desk work as well. Now, if you're sure you want to become a machine learning engineer or data engineer, then you're going to need to continue learning on that track also. You'll need to learn this new craft in parallel with learning machine learning or data engineering. I know, it's a ton of information, but I promise it's going to pay off for you in the end. Stick with it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day.